Calandia is quite enough as a crossover, though I know this is not always the case. This time last year is very different. There was violent clashes between the Jesh, which is the Israeli army, and the Shabab, the Palestinian young guys. We travel to Ramallah, where we will get the service, which is a seven-seater taxi, onto Nablus. It's nearly two o'clock, and we've been on the road since eight this morning. Ramallah is pretty busy, so we stop for coffee, and I get a sense of what it's like in the West Bank. It's so different from Tel Aviv. I hit my first wall mentally once we leave Ramallah. We get the service to Nablus. It's hot and crowded, and I feel totally overloaded. The roads are bumpy and in bad repair. The houses are very different from Tel Aviv. There are signs of poverty everywhere, except for the Jewish settler enclavements up on the hills. They are big houses that look like they should be somewhere in America, not in Palestine. They are more than I expected. They are heavily armed and dividing up the farms of Palestinian people, and I know that people are more afraid of the settlers than they are of the Jesh. I can't cope with the difference in culture. I can't cope with the fact that we pass soldiers in jeeps on the road. It feels like I'm in a computer game, but I know it's not. I know I should be filming this, but I, I can't. For the first time, I wish I hadn't come. I'm only 16. I should be at home playing Xbox. As I walk down the steps of the guest house, I see the mural that my mom painted in 2010. It reminds me of the deep bond between Ireland and Palestine, and for the first time since I left Ireland, I can relax. Stick out pain and stand up round Palestinian. 